one of the biggest mistakes of the 20th century was making divorce easier. It used to be hard for both couples. Uh, and the only insurance you had was not a prenup, not the court system, not social welfare. It was your family because the woman would go back to her family and man would go back to his family. And this, this meant that the family had a big stake in your marriage. A lot of divorced couples that I know were encouraged to divorce by their family and by their friends. Uh, Lila pointed out something great right around the time this prenup thing kicked off uh, or a day or two before that you're much more likely to get divorced if your friends just got divorced. So it increases your risk. And I think I, I mentioned that a while back as well. And it, it's important not because, oh, your friend got divorced, stop associating with them. That's too late. <laughs> That's too late to take action. It's, oh, my friend's having trouble in his marriage. What can I do to help him strengthen his marriage? How can I talk to him positively about, um, you know, being the best husband he can be? Or if you're a woman, how can I talk to her about, you know, uh, how, how, helping her to communicate with her husband, helping her be the wife, best wife she can be? And this is because we all have a stake in each other's marriage when we're in the same social circles, where we, where we have connection with people, we have a stake in their future. And to a certain extent, we even have a stake in the marriages of people we don't know. But we know the cost of divorce, what it does to, to financially to the entire system. It's expensive. And we end up paying part of that through um, taxes that end up in social welfare programs for people who can't uh, now live because they, they have two households instead of one. We see the damage it does to young people not being raised without a father or being raised in a family with a lot of uh, strife and fighting. And so that has an effect on the entire culture, on the community. And so we have an obligation to encourage healthy marriages around us. And the benefit of that is, is that we end up surrounded by healthy marriages. Our marriage improves as well. I, I found when I became a coach, one of the best things about it was that I, I think all of us know what needs to be done, but sometimes it's hard to do it. But if you told someone else to do it, you can't not do it. Because you can't be a hypocrite and you can't face a cognitive dissonance of saying, look, you got to be patient with your wife. Um, you know, you, you got to listen to her needs and this stuff and then not do it yourself. You, you just can't do that. And so when we are, especially those of us, you know, we're, we get past, you know, we're, we're not children anymore. We, we got a couple of years of relationships under our belt. And now we can help the, the people who are looking to marry. We can help the people who are, um, a little bit younger than us to to grow and evolve in their marriage i think it's it's not just us who are coaches it is really a responsibility of all of us who have connections in society yeah and i think you it kind of hit the nail on the head when um talking about the difference between the the social stru structure being family-based and kind of a vertical a connection and bonding versus peer-based and horizontal connection and bonding means that divorce spreads like wildfire every you know political agenda and ideology spreads like wildfire because we don't have the checks and the balances of the multi generations that we care about like we're so many of us and for good reasons not you know I'm not saying people shouldn't cut toxic families out of their lives but I think that's happened a lot to where we don't have that same, um, you know, need to uh, be loyal and have like a, a vertical legacy that means something in our lives that when we're just relating to our peers, we get lots of toxic friendship groups that we, you know, they're like our chosen family for a lot of people and you and they're really, really hard to separate, you know, what where the good influences and the bad influences. So that's something I'm always, encouraging um, my clients and women in general to have you know really look hard at who your relationships who your friendships are with and if you want to have a good marriage you better have some really solid married couples in your friendship group and you better have some older people that you can call on if not your family that um, that you can you know absorb some of that generational wisdom that we've, we've just lost too much and that's why we have a niche as coaches is because we've lost so much of that wisdom